and Jake Short. The winner here is going to get Joseph Smith. No points just yet. How about this scramble to begin this matchup? And a takedown for Short. And Jake Short quickly leads it two to nothing. Just underway. Here at 157. Chase Delande and Jake Short. It's Edinburgh, Minnesota. We're going to get a brief stalemate call. We'll get a fresh start. 209 remaining in our first period. Delande and it's a 2-1 score. So we're here in the midway point of our first period here. Consolation matchup at the mark 57. State fans will come to the feet. Jimmy Goulabon all over. Luke Fletcher and the Battle Ohio State Buckeye has just been extinguished. Jake Short right in front of his very own eyes. He kind of over penetrates, but squirrels out of no damage further done. As we near the one minute mark. Two to one the score. Jake Short leading Edinburgh's Chase Delande. Inside 40 seconds remaining here in the first. Stock him near the out of bounds line. He's short, good first period for the kid out of the state of Minnesota. Wrestled for his dad to Jake Short. And the first period is in the books. The two to one, Jake Short lead. A product of Simley High School out of Intergrove Heights, Minnesota. Jake Short was fifth in the Big Ten. And he uh, will have one year remaining of eligibility following this tournament. Delande was second out of the EWL and trying to conclude his wrestling campaign as an All-American, but he's going to have some work to do. Here... As we're just underway in the second, he does trail it two to one. So trying to force the issue heavy on the head is short. Nice high crotch series. He's got him in trouble. A nice first standing lift of Delande is two of them. That sounds supposed to be done. Great job by Short. He extends his lead. He now goes out in front. Four to one. Textbook execution by the junior for the Minnesota Gophers. 
40 seconds to go. We got a little bit of blood. We'll go back to the center and get a fresh start with 40 seconds to go. Updated team scores, top five. Cornell is fifth with 44 and a half. Oklahoma State fourth with 47. Iowa, Ohio State tied for second, 57 and a half. And slowly but surely creeping away, Penn State, 73 and a half points. It is interesting to just listen to both sides of the fence, the red corner, the green corner. One will tell you that they believe the opposite guy is stalling. And similarly, we hear the same out of the other camp. So you got to be pretty tough-minded to be a guy in a gray uniform with black stripes. can't always hear all the chatterbox and let it affect your quality as an official. And I think for the most part, many that are here throughout the course of this tournament do a good job at that. Quick infraction uh, going to be a caution yielded to Delande for a quick start. And out for one is short. It's now five to one. One forty to go in the third and final stanza. Quick stalemate call. JR wants him to wrestle a little bit more actively. We'll get a fresh start, buck thirty eight to be exact on the clock. Short and Delande, a consolation matchup here at 157. And whoever wins here will have a difficult matchup in the bloodbath round. Going to be taking on Oklahoma State's Joseph Smith. Down inside a minute. Five to one lead for Minnesota Gopher, Jake Short. Here's Delande in on the legs. Stalemate. We'll get a fresh start. 47 cents to go. Nice high crotch series by Short. Two more, and that's going to pretty much do it. He's going to try to extend his lead and maybe get some bonus points. How do you like this? Not content with the lead that he's got. Riding time cannot be erased. He's going to try to secure a takedown. Is short. Gonna lift him up in the air. Still has got to dump him. And he's going to come out the back door. Nicely done by Jake Short. I'm going to give the Gopher fans a little bit of something to chatter about. Jake Short, impressive indeed, with riding time, final score, major decision territory, Short over Chase Delande, final count, 10 to 2. 